Hello everybody, I'm your friendly neighborhood Let's Play Spun, I want to welcome you back to Let's Play Gabriel Knight, Sins of the Fathers. As we left off, a new day has begun. So, let's go check places out. First thing I'm gonna do is, uh... Oh yeah, I should have. See you later. Have fun! I actually should talk to Grace, because she might have some information about yesterday from uh, about uh, Mrs. Casano. So let's talk to her about messages. Got a minute, Grace? What's up? Do you have messages for me? Your Pam Mosley called. He left the message that they're interrogating a suspect this morning and you might want to be there. Sounds fun. Mm-hmm, I bet. Do you have more messages for me? That man from Germany called again, Wolfgang Ritter. Now he is claiming to be a relative of yours. I took down his number. If you change your mind and want to give him a call back, just ask me for it. Do you have more messages for me? I've given everything to you. Are you sure you don't know anything about animal masks? I don't. Honest. I guess he doesn't have any... Did I even ask for that? I'm gonna check. Can't think of anything, okay. <clears throat> so I guess he, she hasn't found out about Kazanu just yet. Oh well. Let's just get out of here and go to places. First of all, I'm gonna go to the... Uh, not the cathedral, that was not the place I wanted to go to, and I cannot skip this uh, at all. I wanted to go... to here. There's a few th new things. We got this fortune teller looking lady. Madame Lorelei, the fortune teller, is garbed in a belly dancer's outfit that wears a boa around her neck. A real boa. The booth is a colorful melange. It announces the owner as Madame Lorelei and gives prices for palm reading $20, crystal ball gazing $15, and birth charts $50. Madame Lorelei launches at the booth, fondling her snake. <laughs> nice. Yeah. You can fondle my snake anytime. <clears throat> okay, let's go. Come on, boys. Hoopla. Oh, she's doing a dance. I'm looking, I'm looking. Gabriel leers said the dancer, but she seems to want a more over demonstration of his appreciation. Yeah, she wants money, I guess. Do we even have any money? I don't think we have anything to give her. Does mostly the badge have any money in it? <laughs> She's busy at the moment. Yeah, there's nothing we can actually do here, I think. Unless we can take a look at the, uh, snake somehow? No, she's just going back. Thanks, boys. It's kind of funny that they played a rendition of uh, Gabriel Knight theme song. Kind of interesting. So this is the guy I wanted to talk to, the artist. The artist is an able trustman, but interrogating him wouldn't lend uh, much of Gabriel's investigations. How's it going today? What? Oh, it's only you. Man, I have been jumpy all day. That that pattern of yours really freaked me out for some reason. There's just something... Creepy. You finished it? Yeah, and you're welcome to it. Here. Wow, this is great. Uh-huh. Just don't, like, blow up the planet with it or something, okay? I didn't mean to upset you. Nah, forget it. I'm probably just being stupid. Do your thing with it and good luck. So yeah, now we have a full pattern of uh, the circle. Somewhere there's a New Orleans phone book missing one of its C pages. Oh yeah, this is the uh, this is how we get to Casano. We need to make some phone calls. 
So I gotta go back to the bookstore to make those phone calls. But let's take a look at this. Reconstructed Vey Vey was done by Gabriel, for Gabriel, by a technical artist. Yeah, Gabriel didn't do it. That's a Veve, whatever it is. The artistic construction of the Voodoo Burgess pattern looks accurate to Gabriel's. Something about it seems vaguely familiar and creepy. Well, maybe uh, Gabriel has seen something like that somewhere before. Who knows? Well, let's go talk to the uh, fortune teller. There's a certain something that I want to talk to her about. How's business? How's business? I have no time for such dull conversation, darling. That's a nice snake you have there. I could say the same of you. Hmm. Well, I know where I got mine. Where'd you get yours? <laughs> That's personal. Okay, so it's personal. Maybe she can tell me something about this. Of course, we always have to see her dance first. <sighs> okay, now can I show you the scale? Does this mean anything to you? No. Does this price list mean anything to you? Testy, aren't we? I mean, she's lady. Does this mean anything to you? Okay. I guess she wants us to pay for stuff before we can show her stuff. Really? Let's get out of here. She dances way too much, if you ask me. We have no ways of showing our appreciation of your dance moves, lady, so we're getting out of here. Where's the lucky dog vendor still here? Although he's useless. Uh, there's nobody here. Okay. I think we do need to give some money to the uh, fortune teller. But we have no ways of doing that right now. So let's go back to the bookshop and call Kazanu numbers. I knew you'd miss me, so I came back. Oh boy. Party time. Yeah, it kind of is a party time. We're gonna make some phone calls. Whoop de doo. Alright, I should uh check the numbers first. Let's call let's see. Let's call Kazanu A. Five 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 one two eight zero. One two eight zero eight two eight zero one two eight zero one two eight zero one two eight zero five 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 one two eight zero Maybe I should turn the phone on first. Hello? Uh, hello. I'm calling from Dixieland Drugstore. We have an order for you. Yep, 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 yep. Castro, be quiet. Who is this? I'm a friend of the owner. I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about. Well, at least we found her right away. That is definitely her. Kazanu A. Because of the yap, 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 yap. I wonder if we need to talk to Grace again. So, what's new, Grace? Your use of mathematics for one thing, these books are unbelievable! What can I say? I refuse to be bound by rules. The strap marks on your bedpost speak otherwise. Arr. Got a minute, Grace? What's up? I have a pattern I need you to research. How interesting. What is it? It's a reconstruction of the tracings where they found around the m murder victims. The ones done in flower and blood. Yuck. You shouldn't carry this kind of thing around. Who knows what these symbols mean? Well, wear your evil banishing gloves if you want, but check it out for me, would you? I'll see what I can find out. Anything else? I can't think of anything. Okay. 
Guess we need to look at the uh, phone book. Cajun Treaters Veterinary Clinic, specializing in canine care, 5556170. I think I, actually I need to call that to ask about the uh, dog, now that we know who, which Kazanu it is. Kazanu A. 5556170, yeah. Cajun Treaters Animal Clinic, this is Melissa. Do you know anything about snakes? Our doctors see just about any type of animals, but we don't get many snakes. Okay, thanks. You're just gonna stop the call there? Not gonna ask anymore? <clears throat> Do you have a Madame Casanou as a client? Madame Casanou? Sure, I know him. She's not here right now, though. Really? Hmm. She told me she'd be there. Would you happen to have a dress by any chance? Uh, yes, but I'm sure I should give it out. Who are you again? I'm worried about Castro. He's missed three dance lessons. Castro, a little doggy? Oh, he's so sweet. Well, I guess if you know Castro, it's okay. Her address is 345 Dauphine. Thanks. Yes! Now we can go to uh, harass an old lady. Why are we doing this again? S uh, could you tell me, Gabriel, why is this so important? Because I don't know. It's just an old lady who knows about voodoo. Oh yeah, that's the case. I'm out of here. Try not to sell out this store while I'm gone. Don't hurry back on my account. Feisty. Rawr. Okay, so... I guess that's the residence with the happy dog face, huh? Nice looking neighborhood, I guess. Although we cannot really see any of it. Gabriel stands at the door of an old French Quarter residence. The neighborhood is a little shabby, but this particular building is freshly painted. It's an ornate brass no door knocker. The front door is solid hardwood and at least a century old. Well, everything was old there. Most of it gone now, thanks to Katrina. At least I think so. Yes, who is it? I'm right, hi, I'm doing an article on Voodoo, and I heard that you... I'm a good Catholic young man. Take your evil influence on elsewhere. But I just have a few questions. I can feel the evil eye. Go away. Okay. She did say she's a Catholic, right? Catholic. Hmm. Me thinks me getting an idea on how to talk with her. And this is gonna be uh, somewhat disturbing. Of what I'm gonna do, or what he's going to do. Trust me, this is this is just wrong to do. Even if I don't believe, I don't have much belief, or not that religious, this is this is still gonna feel wrong. It's a picture of Christ. A crucifix adorns the wall. Green candles. Could that mean something? Probably not. The small nook must be used as a ready room for the parish priests. It's small, cool, and has a faintly institutional feel. I love my hair. I don't think that's the only thing you love about yourself, Greg and Gabe. The closet shelves are stacked with the odds and ends of a saintly life. In other words, nothing Gabriel is familiar with. There's a box of white priest's colors in the closet. I got a feeling we should take one. I think you're... you're... You never know when a priest's color will come in handy. I think you all are trying, starting to know what I'm going for this or what you have to do to get to talk to Casano. A freshly starched the black priest's shirt stands out against the white robes in the closet. Yeah, that's why I said this is gonna feel wrong. I can't resist black. Of course you can't. You're a rock star after all, or something like that. So. Back to Kazanu's place. This is gonna be so wrong. Can't believe we're doing this. 
but it has to be done. We need to talk to her about Voodoo. So, now that we got all the uh, items here, let's... Uh, So Gabriel is carrying a priest shirt and collar, which, surprise, surprise, do not belong to him. The jar contains Fru Fru Hair Gel. So how about we take it and wear it? Alright, but this is private. You're just gonna take your coat off anyway. Where did you put your coat? And besides, that hair doesn't look uh, good enough to be a priest, so... The things I do for my art. Yeah, now he looks more priestly. So, let's go in. Yes, who is it? It's Father McLaughlin to see ya. Father McLaughlin, you say? Hmm, you must be new in the parish. I'm so pleased to meet you, Father. Do come in. Thank you, my child. Yes, he has an Irish accent. That's why I said that this is gonna be painful. Please be seated, Father. Thank you. Now, what can I do for you? Oh, this is gonna be painful because, uh... uh some people should know by now how my Irish accent is. Madam seems to like candles. Gabriel wonders if these two are specialties of Mr. Walker's shop. The painting behind the couch is Madonna and Child. It's a painting of a pretty young lady in old-fashioned clothes. Madam, in your young days? Good heavens, no, father. There's an old-fashioned jewelry box on the coffee table. The tea service has been polished recently. Madame uses it with, he with her Creole sisters, perhaps? Probably. Madame Casano looks fragile and pale under a thick layer of face powder. If Gabriel is not mistaken, she's a slice short of a, lo slice short of a loaf. So you mean uh, not that pretty? Madame's parlor is full of carefully dusted and polished relics of her past. The folding screen has a colorful pattern. It looks oriental. Like all good hostesses, Madame has candy out for her guests. These appear to be several decades old. They usually are. They don't change them much. But then again, hard candy can stay good for a while. And I mean only a while. Like two weeks. So let's talk there. It's so nice of you to invite me in. But no, mon père. I'm always happy to see one of the good fathers. Do you find the weather to your liking? It's terribly humid. I only go out in the morning and evening. Well, welcome to the coast. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions, my child? Of course not, mon père. I know she is she can't, she, can't supposed to have a French accent, but I'm just making her real American. But uh, having... Uh, just speaking in... Uh, French, but pronouncing it American ways. Because I'm silly like that, of course. <laughs> what can you tell me about the voodoo? People think I'm just a foolish old woman, but I know the things they do. My family has been in New Orleans since 1750, so I know more than most. Voodoo people are all over the city, in the shops, everywhere. They'll curse you like that, and most people don't even notice. Spit on your bread at the bakery. Take strands of your hair at the store when you try on clothes. You have to be so careful. But I know their ways, so I can protect myself. I know how to use the magic too, and I can counteract their evil spells. But you said you're Catholic. I guess that goes with voodoo? Who knows? Tell me more about the voodoo in New Orleans. It's just plain evil. It's dangerous to even discuss it. What do you know about the voodoo murders? Voodoo murders? <laughs> They're nothing new to me, father. They happen all the time. I hardly go out anymore. It's too dangerous in the streets. They can get you anywhere, you know. Even here in, the, in this room. But I try not to let them know about me. That's the best way. I think I keep slipping into the Irish accent all the time there. Right now I'm doing the, doing the accent. I just can't turn it off now. What can you tell me about New Orleans? The only true New Orleanians are of French origin, you know? My family were among the original settlers of New Orleans. They came here from France. The 
Creole society used to be so gay in New Orleans, now it barely hangs on by its fingernails. And uh, she means gay as in happy. People, don't sn stop that snickering. Stop snickering. Yeah. She's humor these days. <laughs> what do you know about the voodoo murders? Shh, they'll hear you. What can you tell me about New Orleans? You know, I can stroll the streets of the new French Quarter and see my mind's eye the way it used to be. It was wonderful in the old days. Do you know anything about snakes? Snakes? They're evil creatures. Did you know that evil people can send them into your dreams? They can. That's why I never sleep. Right. Thanks. You never sleep. No wonder you're on the edge all the time. Freaking paranoid using caffeine and tea and all that. <laughs> what can you tell me about St. John's Eve? St. John's Eve, my wee. I used to love the St. John's Eve Mass at St. Louis Cathedral. 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 Of course, it is also a night of great wickedness. Worse than All Hallows' Eve. It will corrupt anything, Father. They? They who? Oh, you know. No, maybe we don't. What can you tell me about St. John's Eve? I don't think I should say any more about that. Do you have any idea what Campy Sancor means? Mais oui, I know. I bet you do not, Father, n'est-ce pas? No, I don't. Just as I thought, you shouldn't talk about things you don't understand. About Sapri you can so. Oui, are you going to tell me what it means, father? Of course I know what it means. Do you? I wasn't born yesterday, father. I won't tell you what it means if you don't already know. Right. Do you know anything about Marie Lavo? Oh, her. I could tell about her. Voodoo Queen. Ha! My great grandmother was an acolyte of Mary Laveau. She knew the truth about her. And that is. No, no, I won't say anything more. Not to you, Father. I'm sure you mean well, but you are an outsider. So maybe when we learn what Capri Saint Cœur means, she will tell me? Do you know anything about animal masks? No, Father, I don't know anything about that. Have you ever heard of a Schattenjager? No, Father, I don't know anything about that. Tell me about yourself. Me? I'm a Creole. My family has been in New Orleans for over 200 years. Real New Orleansians are French, you see. These days the city is overrun with people with no heritage at all. No offense, Father, but it's true. But the French, naturellement, will always be the true blood of New Orleans. Tell me about yourself. Well, Father, I don't know what else to say. Well, we'll guess we're gonna go. <coughs> hmm. I guess we're gonna go because there's nothing else to talk to her here. It's so sure nice of you to uh, invite me in. But no, mon père. I'm always happy to see one of the good fathers. Gabriel can't open the front hall. He only needs to walk there. Okay, good to know. Well, madame, I must be going. Of course, father. I know how busy you must be tending your flock. Yeah, tending my flock of seagulls. <laughs> you know, Gabriel has that wild hair anyway. Okay, let's get out of here. I'm not going back on the street looking like this. So I guess we're gonna come back once we know what Capri Saint Cœur means, and then she will blabber our ears off. And also, mostly wanted to see us. Hmm. But I, what I think I'm gonna do is. Uh, excuse me. Ooh, it's humid out there. Made it back though. If I wish you wouldn't wear that coat outside in June, I can smell you from here. Uh, excuse me, just ate before I started recording. Anyway. Before many burps come out anymore, I'm gonna leave the episode here. 
So next time we're gonna go meet Mosley, we're gonna maybe take Ritter's phone number and call him. We're gonna try to find out what Caprice and Girl means, and then we're gonna go back and talk to Kazanu about Voodoo. Until then, hope you all enjoyed the video, and I hope you all have a good evening, good afternoon, and a good morning, and I will see you all next time. Take care, people. Bye.